Two weeks ago, I bought my first Thor node for 1.25 Thor. At the time, one Thor was about $60, so my initial investment was $75. I found this project from Jesse Eccles' channel while looking for new sources of income, and I was intrigued by the insane ROI. And I learned that Thor nodes is basically a fork of Ring nodes, which was a scam, and the developers of the project basically took all the money and left. Now, obviously I wouldn't be investing in Thor if I thought it was a scam because the lead developer of the project is KYC, which basically means that if he or she tries to run away with the money, someone outside of the project knows their identity and will reveal their identity if they try to take money. I looked on their website and it read, gain passive income by leveraging Thor's financial multi-chain yield farming protocol. Basically, Thor invests in DeFi projects and the rewards are paid out to node owners. Also note that these aren't actually nodes. This must just be used for marketing terms. They also say on their site that they keep an eye out for bull and bear market patterns so they can benefit from every market circumstance. So it sounds like they're trying to provide steady rewards through volatile markets, which sounds pretty cool. Now, I do want to say that Thor is kind of a Ponzi scheme, but they're pretty open about it. And honestly, there are a lot of crypto projects out there that are Ponzi schemes. When you look up what a Ponzi scheme is, it's defined as investment fraud and Thor is not really committing fraud. So they are following Ponzi nomics, but they're not actually Ponzi scheme. So right now, Thor's funding mostly comes from new investors, but they hope to make this a more sustainable project by money coming in from their investments. Their money is invested in projects such as Time Wonderland, Matic, Anchor Protocol, Terra Luna, and a bunch of other projects. So right now, the project has 166,263 nodes running and the token Thor has a market cap of $495 million. They also have a very strong community with over 50,000 users on their Discord and about 9,000 are active all the time. After all this research, I decided to buy one of their nodes and there were four options. The first one, which is also the cheapest one, is the Heimdall node and it costs 1.25 Thor, or at today's prices, $30, and produces a yield of 0.008 Thor a day, or 19 cents, with a 100% ROI of 156 days. The second one is the Freya node, and it costs 6.250 Thor, or $140, and yields 0.05 Thor a day, or $1.20, with 100% ROI of 125 days. The third one is the Thor node, and it costs 12.5 Thor, or at today's prices, $300, and it yields about 0.144 Thor a day, or $3.45, with a full ROI of just 86 days. The final node, also the most expensive node, is the Odin node, and it costs 78 Thor, or $1,875, and pays out 1.02 Thor a day, or $24.48, with a full ROI of just 76 days, which is really good. Note that Thor project is very small, which means it's very volatile. So the prices of Thor will fluctuate a lot. So your returns will also be small one day and maybe big another day. To give you an example of this volatility, I bought one Heimdall node for $75 a month ago, and you can buy that same node for only $30 today. And I hope you know that none of the stuff I'm talking about is financial advice. I'm just here to share what I'm learning with you guys. And I hope you see that the stuff I invest in is very risky and you could potentially lose all your money. But moving on to my earnings. So after one month of owning one Heimdall node, I have made 0.28 Thor or $6.72. 
This doesn't sound like that much, but compared to the little amount of time that I've owned the node and the little amount that I invested, this is an insane return on investment. If you look at Thor's price volatility year to date, you can see that it's gone from $16 to over $200. So we'll see what the future of Thor holds and if it can actually become sustainable. And one of their plans is to create an NFT marketplace for the nodes. So they'll cap the number of nodes so there's a limited amount and they will be able to sell the you'll be able to sell your node as an nft or buy another node but it'll be an nft so the value will increase or decrease depending on the market it won't be a set price Hopefully the price of Thor returns back to its original prices when I bought it and I'll be able to earn my return on investment faster and take my initial investment off the table and hopefully keep compounding Thor nodes long into the future. Maybe one day I'll have compounded my nodes up to a Odin node, which would be amazing. And if you're interested in this project and you're wondering how you can get into it and how you can invest and buy Thor, to buy one of these nodes. I've linked a tutorial down in the description below along with some other helpful resources. Crypto is a little bit annoying in the sense that you can't just buy your nodes through a broker. You have to buy crypto from an exchange like Coinbase or crypto.com and then you have to send it to another wallet and then from that wallet you can exchange it for Thor and then you can buy the nodes. So it's not just one step, it takes some time, but hopefully this will get easier as crypto becomes more mainstream and more people use it and the process will become easier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please click the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more of my content. It really helps out my channel, so I really appreciate it. If you didn't like this video for any reason, please double click the dislike button and hopefully I'll see you in another video.